today? How is your health today? Pretty good. I'm, um, good. I was in the gym for a little while and that wore me out. Yeah. I like to complain about that. <laughs> How do you remain optimistic every day about the challenges that you face and the ups and the downs? Uh, I mean, the thing about the alternative. Yeah. The alternative isn't good. Isn't good. So, uh, no, I just I love life and, and, and it's a matter of, uh, I think it's a matter of acceptance. The more you accept, the more you are, 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 are grateful for it. Your reunion with Christopher Lloyd. Fans got so emotional seeing that. One of the videos has more than seven million views on Twitter. Again, it goes back to the movie that, that there's something about it that connects with people on every level. I'm from the future. Well, what's most amazing about Back to the Future is that, and it has nothing to do with me, but it has this life. I mean, people don't just like it and remember it, and they, they celebrate it and, and embrace it, and, and you get my face tattooed on their leg. And, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, it's crazy, but in a good way. Could we ever see it being remade, possibly? Uh, well, not with me. I actually had this kind of thought that if they did the movie again, I think they should do it with the girls, Marty. Oh, no kidding. I mean, I mean a different perspective on it would be good. You and Tracy are coming up on, what, 35 years together? Wedding anniversary. What has that partnership meant to you over the years? It's been an interesting life. She's smart and she loves me. And she, she's protective and she's uh, everything. Yeah. And the kids, are, the kids are great. The kids are great. It's her fault that the kids are great. <laughs> and then doing me. The father of four is also devoted to his foundation, which is dedicated to finding a cure for Parkinson's disease. The nonprofit is hosting the upcoming A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Cure Parkinson's Gala. The Michael J. Fox Foundation has raised $1.5 billion. How do you get your brain around that number? It's so humbling. I'm an actor, I'm like a goofball. And then, and, and, I, and, I, and I stumbled into this situation. And so I, I, I did my best to seize it. When you did The Good Wife and The Good Fight, they incorporated your Parkinson's into your role. How important was that for you? And I thought, like, you know, people with Parkinson's, people with disabilities, can be too. they can be jerks. And, and, and I thought to explore that would be fun. So this character they did the last man, Good Wife, is a guy who uses his disability to manipulate people. And, and I thought, how fun that was. And, and it turned out to be a good thing. And congratulations. An Oscar coming your way yeah, at the yeah. Governor's Awards. I look around and you have so many awards. You're adding an Oscar to these walls, to these shelves. How special is that? Well, it'll be cool. I, I put it put it on the desk or something. I'm really excited about it. It's it's nice. I like I said, I wish my mom could have seen it. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool. She's an angel. She'll be she'll be there with you. Back to Back to the Future. It's going to be on Broadway next year? A time machine? Yeah, they've been in England for a while and it's gone quite well and so they're opening in Broadway. Are you excited about that and do you plan to go see it? I'm gonna go see it for sure. I saw it, I was supposed to go see the English production but COVID and all that stuff, we couldn't get over there and really excited.